that final eight, and that's uh, that's a big thing. Obviously, you're in position to be in position. Yeah, that's the goal coming in is to try to get to the next step. There's this new format. It's a you know it's a little different cycle than it was with the old one. So for sure, get five wins as quick as you can, and then you know you got something and go from there. Uh, and, and the best thing of all is the team's playing well and, uh, and obviously knows how to bounce back, and that was a, a big thing tonight, I imagine. Yeah, we've not played our best yet, which is a good thing, I guess, now that we've qualified for this and we've still got room to get better. But uh, we didn't play very good this morning and talked that out a little bit and some of the things that we weren't doing that we needed to, and we seem to do much better out of tonight. So moving in the right direction. What would you put your finger on as kind of the, that needed to be addressed? Uh, just really probably hack speed. We're just not using our sweeping enough and we're standing and watching too many shots and you know most of the shots we're missing are overthrown so it was just to trust the ice and know the speed and uh, and get our, our hack speed figured out. Right. This building obviously very special to you. Uh, just talk about what it was like to come back in here with the you know with a, a, as a member of Team Manitoba and imagine it brought back some good memories in 1992. Oh, it did, for sure. Yeah, I came back in and looked around and it didn't seem like 26 years ago or whatever it was. And it's kind of cool that Chris Newfeld's here, too. And <clears throat> as it happened, we were both out on the sheet for practice at the same time beside each other. So had a little chuckle and a laugh and, uh, and both thought of Vic, of course. Yeah. And the fact, he's not with us anymore and, and, and what we were able to do here. So, yeah, it's been great. You guys are in the championship round, and that's uh, got to feel good. Yeah, it does feel good. Um, you know, we're kind of, that, that was our first goal coming into the week, and uh, I guess we can check that first box off. What, what, if you were to put your finger on, on a common thread uh, of the last few games uh, that has led to success, what would you put your finger on? I think uh, we're all just starting to get a little comfortable, and we've got a good handle on the ice now. Um, so everybody's sort of getting in a groove, and we're just making shots. And it strikes me that you guys are, are relaxed under the circumstances too. And uh, maybe is that a pleasant surprise considering, you know, that you guys have been fighting so hard to get to this freaking event. And now that you're here, you, you look very comfortable. Yeah, you know what, once we, once we got here, we're used to this sort of element uh, with the slams and the Canada Cup and the trials and stuff. So once we finally got here, it, it is a comfortable situation for, for us and we are used to it. So. It was just a matter of getting over that freaking mountain in yeah. Ontario. Yeah, just a matter of getting here, right? Yeah, it's, it's been a couple goes and we finally did it. And what do you see in your skip right now that uh, kind of leads you to be confident about getting deep into the weekend? You know what, I actually saw it the week uh, before leading up in practice and you could see it kind of in his eyes. He, he looks focused, he's throwing the rock real crisp and uh, I said if he's going to keep throwing like this, we're going to be in a good spot by the end of the week. Nicely done. I think we can lay claim to you guys being in the championship pool right now, and that's got to feel good about what you guys have accomplished here, especially after the 0-2 start. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's uh, when you start 0-2, you're always back, kind of back against the wall. But like we said, um, we've been 0-2 in lots of bond spiels and battled back. And um, now to get you know that fourth win in a row, we're starting to roll. We're getting that confidence back, that little bit of swagger, and uh, we're going to sit ourselves up nice for the, the championship pool too if we can win tomorrow. It's interesting about that kind of mentality, right? Uh, that that sea event mentality, and sometimes it brings out the best in teams. Yeah, exactly. And and I think really the first two games we didn't even play that bad, but then we really started to kind of back against the wall, kind of played a little more desperate, a little more hard, and uh, that's really proven well for us. And that's what we've been saying before every game: we got to be desperate on every shot, every shot. And um, obviously, it's been working really good. Clearly, the real question tonight is why didn't the old man get in the game? We asked him, and he w I think secretly, deep down, he wanted to play, uh, but he was scared. And uh, he didn't practice. If he didn't practice before the event, he could have proved himself that he could slide, and then he'd have been in there. But um, it would have been a disaster. We were thinking letting Dallin throw the two shots, let him hold the broom. But if we hadn't happened to play another end, he wouldn't have been able to slide. So it wouldn't have worked so good. <laughs> <laughs> so probably, probably for the best is what you're saying. Yeah, I think so. I think he, he had his day, and it's, 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 it's over. <laughs> Uh, you're in that championship pool, and that uh, that obviously is mission accomplished for now. Yeah, yeah. It's goal number one was to obviously get us uh, in a position to, to win, and uh, get us into a, you know the position to uh, hopefully put us through into into the playoffs. But we're still uh, a ways away from that. But mission accomplished, as you mentioned. Goal number one is down, and uh, we still have a game left, and we definitely want to go in with some momentum. So uh, we have a big game tomorrow against Reed. So we'll, uh, we'll we know we need to be sharp, and we're we're going to be in for a tough one. Yeah, yeah, and you had to come back strong after uh, this morning. And was that just an easy game just to 
park in the rear view mirror or was there some lingering frustration? No, I, th no, I, I think it was easy to park just because you know you have to. Um, and, uh, you know, Steve and, and uh, Matt and those guys, they're, they're a tough team. And uh, we just came out a little bit flat and they played well and they, they uh, took advantage of the opportunities that we gave them. But I think it was, you know, it kind of kicked us in the butt a little bit too. And we were starting to, to kind of trend in the right direction. We were starting to play really well and we kind of just had a little misstep there, but uh, we were able to regroup really quickly, like you said, tonight. And I think uh, we'll, we'll be full of confidence hopefully tomorrow as well. It's interesting that sometimes a well-placed loss is not a terrible thing. Yeah, and that's what we talked about. I mean, Brad came, kind of came into the dressing room and said, sorry, boys, and said, there's no need to apologize. You know, and we kind of laughed and said, you know, better now than, than later. All of us kind of struggle a little bit, and it's not one person that's ever really going to lose a game. So we were able to kind of let it go, but we were able to kind of use it, utilize it too, right? I mean, that's the big thing is, you know, is learning uh, from when you win or lose, especially when you lose. And so we took some, uh, some things out of that loss that we wanted to bring to this game and I thought we did that really well tonight. Let's talk about your brother for a minute. Uh, he's going through a tough week obviously and you, I know you feel for him and he's he's really showing some brass to, to even stay out there right now. Yeah he is. I mean for Ryan to actually say I can't play you know he's he's not feeling well. <laughs> he's, he's having a really tough go and he's been a trooper all week. I mean even uh, tonight I know he wasn't feeling great obviously missing today's game and wasn't really sure if he was going to play tonight, uh, but you wouldn't really know it out there. I thought he still played really well. He swept uh, his butt off, uh, especially on a few of mine. So um, kudos to him, and you know we're lucky to have him uh, as part of our team. And anytime we can have him out there, we want him out there. Explosive lower body. Yeah. <laughs>